Now we have seen how to solve the state transition probability matrix from the infinitesimal generator via the solution of um, the, the uh, differential equation. But of course, um, in general, we have solved it and have seen that P of T should equal to E to the power QT, okay? So we can also do that. We can apply this solution here. And uh, as, as a reminder, I should again emphasize that this exponentiation here is not component-wise exponentiation. It's a matrix exponentiation. So here uh, we will make use of eigen decomposition. And here uh, you see, this is our matrix Q. Okay, here this one and this one. Um, are the matrices that have the eigenvectors of matrix Q. And this is the diagonal matrix in which we have the eigenvalues on the main diagonal, okay? So zero is a, an eigenvalue of the matrix Q and minus lambda plus mu is another eigenvalue. Zero here is typical, okay, for such matrices, infinitesimal generator matrices, you will always have a zero as uh, an eigenvalue, okay? That will be special. Um, so th this is uh, just eigen decomposition, okay? Um, if, if you are not sure what that is, you should go check out a linear algebra textbook. It's a very elementary property of uh, square matrices. We have just derived eigenvalues and eigenvectors, nothing, nothing fancy here. Uh, but this helps us to obtain the exponentiation of this matrix. Why? Because if you remember, um, e to the power x for any x equals, well, as Taylor series expansion, k from zero to infinity, x to the power k divided by k factorial. Okay, so when you have, well, let's, let's, well, this is matrix Q. Let's call this, um, this diagonal matrix lambda, okay, be, 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 because it has eigenvalues in it. And let's call this matrix um, W. So this is also the W matrix. So I can also write this as Q equals W times lambda times W inverse. And you see, since in the Taylor series expansion of uh, the exponential function, this by the way also applies to matrices. So e to the power A, where A is a matrix is also equal to K from zero to infinity, A to the power K divided by K factorial, where this is matrix power, where you multiply the matrix by itself again and again as usual. So you see, um, to compute the power of a matrix, if you have it in eigen decomposition form, you would have, for instance, the square as W times lambda times W inverse, multiply by itself, W lambda W inverse, you see W inverse and W, they cancel out. Okay, so what you have is W times lambda square, W inverse. So this is true for any higher order terms. If you take the nth power, that will be W times um, lambda to the power n times W inverse. So that also applies to matrix exponential because it is defined, well, due to its Taylor series expansion, it is defined through matrix powers. And in general, a to the power qt can be written as this matrix W times e to the power lambda times t, okay, times the inverse of w, okay? So here we, we are exponentiating because if you have a diagonal matrix that's special, like let's say a, a1, a2, etc., up to a n, okay, all zeros here. If you, if you need the exp exponentiation of this matrix, you would see that you will have e to the power a1, e to the power a2, etc. Okay, I've just said matrix exponentiation is not the same with component-wise exponentiation, but of course here we all have zeros still. Uh, so here you see the 
matrix exponentiation for a diagonal matrix is very easy uh, compared to the other types of matrices. So when you have the diagonal matrix here, the lambda, which has um, the eigenvalues on the diagonal, okay, uh, it, it becomes much more easy to compute uh, the matrix exponential. So here you have W, here you have e to the power, uh, the eigenvalue times T, and here you have inverse of W, which is not that difficult to compute in this specific example because it is just a two by two matrix. What you do is you swap these, right? And you make these negative and then divide this matrix by the determinant, that's it. Okay, I'm not going to do it because it's quite easy. Uh, what you obtain is this, which if you look closely is exactly the same expression we have found earlier in this slide. Okay, it's the same exact expression. 